also I don't think we're honestly an SUV. It's more of a shooting brake type car that happens to have a raised uh, ground clearance. Um, so uh, we don't really position it against crossovers or SUVs. It's more of a something in between. Inspiration for the, the Q30 concept was first we wanted to see how we can broaden our, our portfolio. And then when we determined that we wanted to go one segment uh, below uh, Q50, we started thinking, okay, how can we really take our form language to another, another level, the next generation? And especially because our, our, our president, Johan uh, Denaishin, really is saying he wants the seductive alternative to premium cars. So when we were developing the, the silhouette, we wanted to create this very sleek, seductive silhouette. And how we did that is we shifted the cabin rearward and it gives a kind of pose that it, it's leaning back pose that we felt was quite sexy. But then we felt we don't really want a normal road car. So we raised the, H, the, the car's posture with keeping the, the body quite slim. So at a glance, that's the big thing. The interior is also a new proportion for us because it's a little more upright formal, but we've used more of a dissymmetry. Uh, cars like Essence and Emerge, we've had more driver oriented, which we're not really doing, but we've shifted volumes so the car seems wider, but it also seems to have an interesting color break, this dissymmetry. And uh, we focused on things like copper and satin copper and polished copper. The exterior is liquid copper. And uh, the seats themselves have a very interesting sewing because we want this new sense of infinity craftsmanship. Geography is global. Uh, infinity, we make great cars that we're going to send everywhere. So we don't really have a geographic focus. Obviously, this car is a, like a five-door hatch kind of thing, hard to define it, which is maybe consistent with European markets today. But we think that that, that transcends the region.